told me about Crypto Land. Isn't that like Sandbox and the other ones? No, so Crypto Land was they wanted to buy an island, and oh. yeah, you, like your crypto tokens were your ticket oh, to the island. Right. Yeah, yeah. I that. Okay. and they had their cool animation with the the Bitcoin guy. They were also the ones that went on Twitter. Someone said, uh, "What's the legal age on the island?" And the official account said, uh, "Mental maturity is good enough for us." With a, with a <laughs> oh, winky face. Oh, that's such a bad, <laughs> yeah, that's such a bad response. The name. I actually think what they called in the video. I think they called the the currency kitties. Perfect. Yeah, it was yeah. pretty pretty on the Who nose. Who the pedophiles and islands? I don't know, man. It's because they no one can get to them. I guess that's true. Yeah. yeah. Also, Time. Like the that. founders. Max and Helena allegedly worked for over a year putting together what they thought was a fantastic promotional trailer that would convey the project and the goal to the world. Yeah, However, yeah, there she upon is. release, the trailer became the no, laughing no stock of every social media website, resulting in nothing but ridicule. Another day, another day. Hey! It's a project headed we like by that cryptocurrency guy. enthusiasts oh, to purchase an existing Fijian video. island video. and develop it into a haven for fellow oh, cryptocurrency shit. enthusiasts. Oh my god. As the dust has now settled on hey, the project, the communication has Thank stopped you, entirely. I decided to dig a little deeper yeah, and see what I could uncover. Say, it seems that Cryptoland is dead once and for all, but there's more to be said before we fill the grave for good. Cryptoland was yet another solution looking for a problem that did not exist. A common concept in the world of cryptocurrency and for the people that make it core to their identity. Having communities surrounding the multi-trillion dollar market is apparently not enough. Instead, mm -hmm. they needed to have a physical location where users could inhabit year round and live a perfect crypto Here's lifestyle to get away from what they refer to as fiat land, the world where the Jesus rest of us inhabit fuck, and escape to a tropical paradise Jeez, God damn, where they could be surrounded by like-minded people. Not exactly a nefarious prospect so far, but one Thank that you, was Sox. doomed to failure from the inception. There exists something called a white paper. A white paper can be quickly understood is the document explaining all the details about a given project. You're supposed to use said white paper as a that'll probably unregulated yeah, investment. That'll fix it. The ridicule that Cryptoland's trailer suffered was not the biggest problem for Max oh, and Helena's project. Do. Instead, oh, yeah, it was the contradictory oh, and ridiculous Bitcoin premise of what they were doing. Yeah, so actually another interesting tidbit of lore. When they were getting dunked on by the whole internet, they started trying to send out cease and desist letters. Oh, mm -hmm. to just like random people. Yeah, to literal accounts with like five followers, they were getting like cease and desist letters from crypto land. Why are people so stupid? I don't know. I, I mean, it's crypto, so it was, they were hoping for like an easy slam dunk of yeah, a scam, yeah. but it didn't really work. Were trying to do. Realistically, the trailer got millions and millions of eyeballs that it never should have had. If the project had merit on top of that, maybe it would have done well. They wanted to buy an island in Fiji territory and build up infrastructure for not only a resort to operate servicing thousands of inhabitants, but also private, permanent luxury lodgings for up to 60 high rollers. They called these 60 plots of land the King Cryptolander Plots, which were sold as non-fungible tokens and started at the low, low price of oh 750,000 US this? dollars. They were very Able proud of it. In F, the second oh, most popular and valued cryptocurrency. The, the, like the cool thing that what's amazing about, about this whole project is so land. I'm actually buying no. an ultra rare one of one in a collection of 10,000 NFTs. <laughs> and that's dope, right? But like that ties to this actual piece oh, of this land. Oh, this was one of the shows. I'm actually buying a first piece of land. Each sale like, of a King like, Cryptolander like, NFT yeah, would secure you yeah. one of the Thanks one acre coyote. plots of land that the came with fiber optic internet, sewage, water, Chunky, electricity, more roads. In Texas access to all Cryptoland's facilities, and of course, developmental potential. Meaning you bought the land, but you need it? to pay to have the actual How much was it to built. get that NFT? When I say it started yeah, yeah. at the low price of $750,000, that's yeah. because they scaled uh, up it, each one that was, was in the video, sold, I think you said 10K. would increase the price of the that's next plot of land by a certain oh, percentage. Yeah, this, of course, was a tactic to capitalize on FOMO, fear of missing out, a popular angle that schemes like this use Buy in early and get a discount. Buy in late cutie. and pay more. Don't miss out on this once in a lifetime opportunity. <laughs> Don't miss out on crypto land. Now, so far, it's not the most ridiculous premise ever. I think it's silly, but carving up an island and selling parts of it to people 
is not unheard of, but they didn't <laughs> own the island. Yeah, I they have an idea here. That is, that was a good idea. Selling NFTs, There's some captions they claim to represent a plot of land on an island they did not own and had no capital to purchase in the future either. <laughs> they were also stating buying one of these NFTs would give you access to a plot of land with infrastructure, but the island had no infrastructure. One they also clearly stated in their white paper that they would not the use the money that King Cryptolander sales would generate to purchase the, the $12 million wheels. dollar island, which means they had to find the $12 million somewhere else, though of course they never did. They instead went back on their white paper and stated they would instead use that money from the early adopters to buy the, the island corner. without updating the document or telling anybody unless you deep dive their Discord Birdman server. Spirit. This led to a cascade of critical failures and what I would consider to be regarded as fraud. Essentially, if you use their white paper to give them money for the explicit purpose of... I don't know if it was... They would instead that. use your money for... I don't think it was 10k for an acre. Being, they claim yeah. to have a safety no. net. I think 10k was like the starting cap. price the to get in. The concept of this was 30 sales of NFTs, which would net them... 50 million dollars in total and 50 million dollars was their estimate for a minimum viable delivery of the island being built to a sustainable level we almost did that one ridiculous. time you remember they we had that idea of doing the stream where we make really shitty art and mint it on the blockchain you know, i actually really liked the one idea of the nft when when nfts had just come yeah, out I literally just happened, remember yeah. the ass picture oh yeah, uh, where we were just gonna do a picture of your ass but it spun around like through the window and as it got to the other side it was just your ass again and yeah. it was <laughs> rotating on your ass <laughs> And yeah. they did not like that. Yeah, the, yeah. the group we were talking to was uh, like, we yeah. only work with people who are serious. I'm like, bro, it's NFTs. Yeah. <laughs> Calm the fuck down. I remember that. That was a wild time. We basically time. got on a call with them and we're like, we'll only do this if we get to fuck around. Yeah. And they were like, no. Idubs did something like almost exactly like that the yeah. week after we came up with the ass really? idea. He did his nutsack. How'd his do? I don't know, but he stretched his nutsack out and put a light behind it. It looked fucking <laughs> oh, awesome. Did right? you just see like the veins? Yeah, yeah it right looked right. like a like a cicada almost. Oh, that's cool. Thank you for the twelve or the ten gift subs retro. Was Charlie was like, "I'll do it if we just give them all away for free," and they were like, "No." Yeah. <laughs> they were like, okay, then let's not do it. <laughs> Need a hundred million dollars to do this, but apparently they could do it for fifty. I'm glad we did. Realistically, that. you yeah. couldn't do it for either of Thank those God. numbers. You could probably combine them and still not accomplish this. This, however, was of course all predicated on lies, oh, and their marketing from day one was some of the most incompetent I've ever seen. They fell into the social media trap of answering questions they had no business to answer in the first place with answers that made no sense. Like the infamous Asian yes, there she is. which I still don't understand oh, why it that's the, the winky face. That's the they Twitter metal critique thing. with bands, they held hour-long AMAs, where Max would go off on unhinged rants about the haters. Explain a bit more what just happened, because before getting into the questions, uh, let's expand a little bit more, because um, I think that's I what there uh, human most people are this curious project. about. So, um, we, we got a wave of hate. Since you are hating on us. Um, we, there was a, a wave of hate against Cryptoland. And to top it all off, wrote a literal thesis, a manifesto oh, about the haters yeah. and published it as if it was the biggest gotcha ever. When in reality, of course, it just confirmed what everybody already knew. These people were absolute amateurs and had no idea what they were doing and you should never trust them with your money. Now that's a thread I'd like to pull on a little bit because there's more here than meets the eye. They partnered with a man named Kyle Chasse, a yeah, Bitcoin early adopter that, that despite Kyle being Chasse. a multi-millionaire yeah. can be seen participating in frequent dunks on his audience including undisclosed paid promotions which is an FTC oh. violation and heading up projects that mysteriously lose tens of millions of dollars overnight while under his care. He runs a YouTube channel so he's where a he's a millionaire phase? and he shows you all of his <laughs> nice cool things and tells you that you too can become a millionaire. Let's see what his channel's up to. Hey. Oh. Kyle. Oh. Go. Top three entertainment altcoins coming this week. That's exciting. What's, what does the UFC have to do with it? Mm -hmm. So he's not talking about crypto land he's anymore. devil eyes. Yeah, yeah he's, that's definitely he evil. Definitely sold his soul. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. In this video today, oh, I'm going to tell no. you about the top three token projects that are launching this week. This is one that you don't want to miss. So if you're excited for this video, make sure that you like it. Man, his head is so square. It's square, yeah. That's like actual Buzz Lightyear head. <laughs> Holy shit, man! Oh, oh man. Sign behind him. 
It, I mean, he's got a cool setup, but yeah. man's out here looking like a thwomp. <laughs> <laughs> Found a new noise. Yeah. Nice. He's buying into these things that yeah, he probably killer. has already bought and just wants to dump his bags on you. The popular guru business so financial so advice channel <laughs> that you are so used to seeing nowadays. Kyle Chasse was allegedly, in his own words, video, contacted by the Cryptoland team seven months prior to the reveal and became an advisor for the project. This is a lie. Kyle was involved with the project much earlier and in a much greater capacity than a simple advisor. According to my sources, Kyle was in fact the mastermind of the project and using Max and Helena as fronts, although we of course have to take that with a grain of salt. There were leaks of the website source code that revealed he was considered at times to be an actual paid member of the team, which I they believe just forgot it. I don't to trust remove, Kyle. and he also made either. content claiming to be the first to buy a plot of land on the island, which is of course confirmed by the blockchain. God, that's such a cool leather jacket. On November 8th, 2021, for 157F. So I got curious and I went and found his wallet, easily tracked by using his Twitter bio that brags about monkey JPEGs in his possession. And this is the 157F purchase of the King Crypto Lander on November 8th, 2021, Brand going really? straight to the Crypto Land contract, which then sends that money to another wallet that is under the Crypto Land control before sending it to a third wallet where it remains for the next 84 days. I feel like scamming using time, crypto is the worst crypto idea because it's so easily tracked. Yeah. And claiming the project was in fact still capable of success. They were doing everything they could to try and pull in additional investors and failing at every single turn. On January 31st, 2021, however, Carl Chasse would receive his entire 157F back, 155 from a holding wallet and two from a fourth wallet that appears to have been used as a payment wallet for the entire operation. Now, putting everything together so you can see as like far as i could trace it there's one wallet that sticks out like a sore thumb the wallet i labeled the whale wallet this wallet funded the entire crypto land project it routinely sent money to the third party company that made the nfts for the crypto land project which was at the time over forty thousand usd it also sent out large sums of money to the wallet that paid out the various crypto land employees and yet never received anything in return it wasn't any of the public employees of the project because I already found all of their wallets and it doesn't directly link back to Kyle. But the wallet at one time was a high volume daily use wallet. That is until around about 650 days ago where it stopped being used. Which Did anyone else ever buy anything right from Crypto Land though? new wallet popped up with its first transactions and we can confirm of course that this is I don't is in think fact anyone ever bought into the project besides Kyle though. It interacts with a lot of the same well, decentralized Kyle's protocols and exchanges as Kyle's wallet sure. has done as well. To punk. add to another odd coincidence, the wallet only oh, came out of so retirement freaking. to fund Crypto Land. It hadn't been used at all for a single transaction for over 300 days prior to that, the account was sitting on 215 Ethereum, around about $450,000, and hadn't touched anything in 321 days, but suddenly came out of retirement to bankroll the entire Cryptoland startup fund on the blockchain. Now, that seems odd to me. And when combined with the private source that told me Kyle was the mastermind, it started to make a lot more sense, especially when you consider Max and Helena are the CEO and CEO I wish more of the company. Did animations but you can literally like see them being paid out of the middleman wallet just like the other employees, all coming from this one mystery wallet at the top of it all. Now, I can't say this is 100% Kyle. Of course, it could be someone else that was never mentioned and that was actually the person pulling the strings behind everything. Or maybe Max is a secret millionaire that has another wallet sat there that he just doesn't touch and it has hundreds of thousands. So is it of actually dead though? It just sounds like he of exposed of Kyle as being the one behind it. And, things. and I'm sure we will find out one day yeah, exactly who this is. As it stands though, Cryptoland appears to be dead. Oh. I was waiting for a comeback and it seems no comeback is to be had. No, the free dead. NFTs they minted and used as a carrot to motivate their community to act as marketing tools are trading for an all-time low of $70 each with one sale per day. The Twitter is inactive. The Cryptoland website has disconnected the oh, ability to link your wallet and even see the map of the island to buy a plot of land. <laughs> yeah, the only plot of land squat. that was ever yeah. sold was to someone yeah, who was yeah, quite literally on the team or the creator of the whole thing, <laughs> which he has, of course, refunded himself at this stage. Mm. And it doesn't appear like they're, they're even trying well. anymore. They allegedly spent hundreds of thousands of dollars making the worst trailer I've ever seen. People couldn't even believe this thing wasn't satire as it did a better job of making fun of crypto bros than anything an outsider could ever have made. I will say though, I'll personally miss the project. I'll miss them repeatedly threatening me with lawsuits. The hilarity of watching them scramble to try and find money, which usually revolved around publicly tagging millionaires or influencers on Twitter 
and receiving no replies about or shouting into the void of an unknown we VR way of asking for quote visionary investors. I'll miss Kyle Chasse having the biggest platform. Which Actually, do me a favor, man. Look this guy up. His name is Crypto, the Crypto Lander. These kind of people always blow my mind. These are actual living, God-fearing human beings that do nothing but shill for a specific coin or NFT. Is he still active or is he on suicide watch? <laughs> His last retweet was December 8th and it said, Win Lambo. And it was the crypto land guy with an exhaust pipe coming out of it. Damn. Maybe he started losing faith. Well, Australia. check his replies. Maybe he's active on arguing. All right, let's see. Nope. Oh. <laughs> 1225. What's... 1225. Where can I find... Visionary investors, <laughs> and then Net Doctor <laughs> says two likes. Searching for crypto land? Question mark. And he replied, "Yes. Do you know any?" <laughs> Jesus Christ. Miss Kyle Chasse having the biggest platform, which he uses to give financial advice to stupid people, but not using his platform to shill the project because even he knew it was over before it started. But most of all, I missed the laughs we had at their expense. Thanks, Crypto Land. You were more fun than you had any right to be. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. If you did, God, a Crypto Patreon Land really was an amazing gift. People don't understand if it sounds too good to be true, it's fake. Man, what the fuck about Crypto Land sounding too good to be true? It was an island in Fiji for pedophiles. <laughs> what do you mean?